Hello fellow simmers and Pokemon masters, Evie Simming here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about Percy Jackson. If you don't know, Percy Jackson is my all-time favorite. Don't hate me, but I personally believe it is better than Harry Potter. Fight me in the comments if you want. But Percy Jackson, to me, in my personal opinion, is better than Harry Potter. Trust me, my husband thinks I'm crazy when I say things like that. He's like, no, Harry Potter is definitely better. And I know you guys are going to hate me for this, but I've only read the first three Harry Potter books and I honestly could not get into them. Growing up, I wasn't allowed to watch slash read Harry Potter. I was honestly very surprised that my mother let me read Percy Jackson. I knew she let me read the first book because we were doing it as an assignment in my English class, but I was surprised she let me read all of the following books and let me become beyond obsessed with it. To the point where I was so excited. Every year since seventh grade, I got the newest Heroes of Olympus book for my birthday. It literally came out either days or exactly a week before my birthday every year. And I remember when The Blood of Olympus came out, my dad just kind of looked at me and he's like, this is the last one. What am I going to get you next year? I was like, I don't know. And honestly, I'm actually very disappointed in The Blood of Olympus. It is the only book in the Percy Jackson series and the Heroes of Olympus series I've only read once. The Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, I think I've read three or four different times. The Heroes of Olympus, I've read some books I've read more than others because I was prepping for the upcoming book. So I think maybe I read The Lost Hero maybe three times, Son of Neptune maybe two, Mark of Athena one, House of Hades one. No, I read them at least twice because I was like super excited for The Blood of Olympus. So I read those at least twice. But the Hero, The Blood of Olympus is the only book, the only book I've read once. I honestly might reread it, but that, like this whole war that they were prepping for, this whole huge battle that everybody was prepping for, turned out to be two pages and all started with a nosebleed. If you can't tell, I'm still upset about it all these years later. I remember being kind of furious and confused all at the same time. I literally read the pages, flipped back, reread the pages, and I was like, no, no, I didn't miss anything. Oh, oh, it's over? Oh, so those four huge books of build up led to this. Okay. I love you, Rick, but what was that? On a happier note, I am super, super excited for the announcement of the Disney Plus Percy Jackson live adaptation. I am beyond excited. I am so glad that Rick is going to be during the process going every step of the way and that Fox isn't going to ruin it. Um, I do have hope in Disney because I feel like they do want a franchise of Harry Potter, Harry Potter potential, but they have that with Percy Jackson. Like honestly, he would be on the same par if more people knew about it, but not everybody reads books. Not everybody wants to read a book. Some people just want to watch a movie. And no offense, Harry Potter fans, but I was very upset with you guys when I was like seeing articles about the Percy Jackson fans and you guys were complaining that Harry Potter didn't get the same treatment or is not going to get the same treatment as of now. But you guys, you guys have no right to talk, okay? We got garbage movies compared to your movies, which were like gold and very faithful to the movie well the books i don't want to hear it percy jackson deserves this stay in your lane be happy with what you have for right now i am sure with the popularity of harry potter one day that will be possible it probably will happen because people like making money and that will make them loads of money but right now it's percy jackson's time to shine I, I get it, you love your Harry Potter, you feel like he needs a TV show too, and maybe one day he'll get it. But I don't like seeing comments about how dare Percy Jackson get a, um, a TV series and not Harry Potter. 
Harry Potter is owned by someone else. I think it's Universal. Universal has the rights to Harry Potter. If they want to make a TV show, they can. Sure, whatever. That's fine. But right now, it's Percy's time to shine. That is my rant. Sorry, it kind of made me upset when I saw that because our movies were garbage. They were not faithful to the books. There was like pure, like small glances of the books inside of the movies. And I'm being small. I mean, very, very small. They did get a little bit better with the second movie, but the first movie, oh my gosh. Like they, they were trying to fix their mistakes in the second movie, but it was, it was too late. It was a garbage fire. Annabeth's hair was blonde. No one knew why. Maybe it was brown in the first movie because she was blonde as a child. It doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, I was upset about that too, but I was more upset that about their ages. Cause like what Percy's gonna, the prophecy's gonna come true when he's 21. Why? No, he needs to be 16. This story is about a boy growing up and dealing with all these crazy things that no kid should go through. This is a coming of age story. You don't need to be 16. Why are you starting off at 16? It's terrible. And I love how the second movie was clearly trying to set up for the rest of the movies. And that clearly didn't happen. Like, I love the casting. I just wish they were younger. Like, Logan Lerman, great Percy. Alexandria, great Annabeth. And I can't remember Grover's actor's name, but he was a great Grover. Like, I have no problem with those guys. They were just doing their job nothing against them like honestly if they were younger they would be great like logan lerman as soon as i cast well they casted him i was like that is a perfect perfect percy jackson but only if he was younger <laughs> i loved logan lerman i've always loved logan lerman don't tell my husband but yeah total had a huge huge crush on logan lerman once upon a time but anyway he watches my videos he knows but anyway <laughs> It's just, I could rant about Percy Jackson all day. It's it's kind of ridiculous in a sense, but hey, if you're new to my channel, I'm sorry, but if you guys know me, that this is my thing. This is what I talk about. I am 23 years old and still beyond obsessed with my favorite childhood books, but that's okay because same pe some people are like that with Harry Potter. Some people are like that with the series of unfortunate events, not as like to the level of Harry Potter, of course, not, not a lot of things are the level of Harry Potter, but I love it how I'm seeing like all these old fan accounts that haven't been active in years are working. I actually have a Percy Jackson Facebook page that I used to run with one of my best friends in high school and middle school. And I've been active on it like here and again, but now I've started being active on it again because it, it's super exciting. Our community's like banding together. <laughs> it's, it's great. And I really, miss all this love for Percy Jackson like there's still love yes he's still writing books honestly I've read like after the Heroes of Olympus I've read the first two Magnus Chase books and then I read the first Trials of Apollo book and I haven't been able to get my hands on the rest of them yet even though I'm an adult I know how to work Amazon I know how to work I know how to go to Walmart but Walmart only carries the newest one of either so that one doesn't help so I need to just get them all I might just get the box sets off of Barnes and Nobles eventually I know I need to catch up I'm just super excited for everything that's coming to the Percy Jackson fandom my favorite Percy Jackson character would probably I know everyone's gonna say this but Percy I honestly well Percy and Annabeth are my favorite the OGs like honestly don't hate me I do per prefer the Percy Jackson and the Olympians book series over the Heroes of Olympus. I'm it, it's mostly the Blood of Olympus. It drives me insane. I think that's what ruined it for me because I thought Mark of Athena like I literally cried in my English class once I finished that because if you know what I mean, what happened to my precious babies and then I knew I had to wait a whole year to figure out what happened. Yeah, of course I didn't know. I didn't think they were going to die. They didn't, don't worry. I, I don't think that's a spoiler. It's literally Percy and Annabeth. That's who I'm talking about. They didn't die. But anyway, but not knowing if they were going to be okay for a whole year crying because it literally came out the day before because I literally read, I sped read through these books. <sighs> I remember <laughs> I was reading it after a test and um, I'm like trying not to cry because it's quiet in the whole room. And I'm like, please don't cry. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. And I felt the same way after the House of Hades. I was just like, oh, I was just, I was not ready for it to be over. And I didn't know that they were, he was going to go into Magnus Chase and the Trials of Apollo. And I know the Trials of Apollo. I heard 
One of the seven dies. I'm not going to say who. I don't know how. So I really don't have any right to talk about it. But it got spoiled to me. And I'm actually pretty upset about it. I'm like, why did that happen? But it's okay. If you know who this character is, I always thought that person was a little overrated and they were trying to put him on par with somebody who was clearly better than them but hey this is my personal opinion we're allowed to have those well i think i'm gonna end my journey here today guys thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and thank you so much for listening to my percy jackson rant i'm a little passionate but hey we're all passionate about our interests well thank you guys so much i appreciate every single one of you guys and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.